begin live at 5 with the latest developments from Cranston, where a pair of city schools will remain closed for another day. It's been an extended break for students at Cranston High School East and at Edgewood Highland Elementary, where a water main break here caused so much damage, students can't return to the classrooms. Iowa News reporter Eric Halperin has been working the story all day. He joins us now with the details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Eric. Mike and Shannon, neighbors here in the area of Edgewood Highlands Elementary say that ever since that water main break happened last week, there have been cleaning crews here practically all day, every day. And just announced today, starting on Thursday, the students that usually go to school here will starting to be go to going to classes in a building that is just a few blocks away until their original building is reopened. Just being at home is boring. Students, teachers, and parents from Edgewood Highlands Elementary now dealing with a sixth consecutive day outside the classroom. We're all getting a little stir crazy, um, but that's really nothing compared to what the teachers are going through. A water main break last week had this fire hydrant floating around and flooding the bottom level of Edgewood Highlands Elementary, causing significant damage. Cranston School's assistant superintendent sent us this picture of the inside. The classroom a complete mess. We showed the picture to third grader Deliz Weening and her dad. I like my school, so I don't want it to be damaged. It's pretty bad. Edgewood is closed until further notice. A mold remediation crew was on site today, along with plastic sheets hanging in the hallways. School has been called off again for tomorrow, but the community did get some good news today. Students and teachers will be back in the classroom starting Thursday. Cranston School COO has announced the 205 Norwood Ave building as the temporary home for Edgewood. A block away from here, not bad. It's not that far away, so it's going to be easy to get there. He can just drop me off on his way to work. Now, not quite all of the Edgewood students will be going to the Norwood building. The preschool class here will be going to their classes at Rhodes Elementary, also starting on Thursday. As we've been reporting, Cranston High School East is also closed today due to water damage. Coming up new at 6, we take you inside that building. Live in Cranston, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. The recent stretch of weather has certainly exposed problems at schools across the state. And that's prompted a renewed push to fix those declining school buildings. Governor Gina Raimondo just wrapped up a meeting behind closed doors with city leaders and superintendents to talk about ways to get the money to pay for those school repairs. We talked to the governor after the meeting ended. She says the problems over the last few days show they need to take action now. The heating systems in some of the schools in Pawtucket and in Warwick are 50 or 60 years old. In order to, they can't get replacement parts. Um, East Providence. So it's a crisis. It's time to take action. And meantime, we're getting a look at the damage inside two Cranston schools still closed because of pipe breaks. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin picks up our coverage live from Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Shannon, just this afternoon we found out that Edgewood Highland Elementary School will be closed again tomorrow. It has been closed since last week after a water main break here flooded the lower level. We also found out this afternoon that Cranston East High School, which was closed yesterday due to a burst pipe, will also be closed again tomorrow. Pictures from the assistant superintendent showing the damage a burst pipe caused inside Cranston East High School. Ceiling tiles can be seen missing and fans are lining the halls. The amount of damage is, is incredible. In another picture, you can see chairs and a desk scattered around, a missing power outlet and the floorboard removed. Several classrooms, offices, 3D printers and 150 computers all damaged. Water I've learned over the past uh, week or so is uh, extremely it's devastating to us. Eyewitness News looked into the state's facility assessment report for Cranston East from June. It describes the plumbing domestic water piping system as, quote, beyond its useful life. However, it categorizes it as a priority three deficiency, which, according to the report, quote, may not require immediate attention. We asked the COO of Cranston Schools if the condition of the pipes could have contributed to the burst. He told us in an email that the issue is not in the pipes, it is in the need for updated windows. And so just to recap, both Cranston East and Edgewood will be closed again tomorrow. The temporary relocation plans for the Edgewood students, which start on Thursday. All those details can be found on our website, WPRI.com. Live in Cranston tonight, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Eric.